Hey, uh, my name is Mike and I'm gonna show you how to make some acoustic broadband absorption panel things for the for your home studio. Alright. So we got these uh, Owens Corning 703 rigid fiberglass panels which is basically regular plain old insulation except it's kind of rigid which is kind of cool. These are 2x4s, 2x4 panels. And um, what I'm doing is I'm making some frames to stick on the back of that thing. And I wanted a low profile frame, so I'm just right now uh, gluing some uh, pieces of board together. And I'm going to make a rectangular frame here. And over there we've got the remaining lumber for the other five frames that I'll be making. I've got some gluing done and I'm, what I'm going to do is staple the boards together. So watch. So we're going to take this seam and then we've got our trusty uh, staple gun here and we're going to put some staples on like this. There's one. So I've been doing four per seam. So, all right, so I got one frame done. And it basically looks like a giant rectangle. Got the uh, staples in, all the corners. That's, that's basically it. So this is going to go on the back of the insulation, which we'll get out of the box here. Approximately like so. And that will be used just for some support and it'll also work as a stapling surface for some fabric that we're gonna put on the front to make it look nice. So there you go. It's a hot, muggy night in August, so what better thing to do than work on some acoustic panels. All right, so we got our frames built. We got uh, six frames, and we're gonna put our insula uh, fiberglass insulation panels on the frame. And we're going to use this uh, 3M general purpose adhesive to uh, just uh, stick them on for right now. So there may be a better way to do it, but you know, this should work pretty well. So here it goes. All right, I've got two panels done so far and what I think makes it easier is uh, if you actually lay the frame on top of the fiberglass insulation rather than trying to put this insulation on top of the frame just because then you can kind of see everything that's going on but uh, you know, whatever works it's a uh, pretty sticky stuff so once you get it set on good luck trying to move it so got four more to go This stuff is uh, pretty nasty, so make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area, like this open garage or uh, outside somewhere. And uh, remember, just because uh, my shirt says I do it, doesn't mean that you should. six acoustic panels are finished, which is pretty sweet. So, um, here's one of them. Basically, we've now covered them uh, with some cheap fabric, taken the frame, 
and just uh, measured the fabric and stapled it on the back side of the frame here using a lot of staples. Um, so that technique worked out pretty well. Then I purchased some D-ring hooks and just put them on the top of the frames for this vertical panel. And then I added some uh, drywall anchors here. Uh, so basically just I'm going to hang the panel on top of the uh, screws in the walls. So it's basically all there is to it. So here's a couple of them um, on the one wall. And then back behind the drum set, I've got three on that wall there. And then over on this wall, I've added one. So six total. And um, yeah, it definitely makes a difference in the room. It's a lot less echoey in here. Um, still not ideal. There's still a little bit of reverberation going on, but uh, it's not like uh, not like it used to be. So it's pretty good. There you go. The panels are done. So thanks for watching.